This ain't the Geocron, this is the Teocron. Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G, and today we're looking at these four screens behind me right here. There's this thing called the Law of Accumulation. I think we all suffer from it. Some of us around our midsection, some of us around our storage units, we all accumulate stuff. Stuff that doesn't really have any value on its own anymore, but then as a ham, we can find a way to add value to it. So in today's show, I found a way to get a monitor arm and a bunch of old computer screens and old TVs that I had laying around and put them to good use. So what you need is a TV screen and a Raspberry Pi or two TV screens and two Raspberry Pis or two TV screens and one Raspberry Pi 4 or an old laptop or a couple old computer monitors. To me, the hardest part about all of this is that at least two of them have to match. The two on the bottom are old Scepter 24-inch TVs. They are less than $100 at Walmart, and they do HDMI input and um, UHF, VHF input and RCA composite input and a bunch of other stuff. The two on the top are Dell computer monitors, and they top out at 1920 by 1080. And if you know anything about computer monitors, that's outdated and obsolete now. However, they work great for ham dashboards. So what I've got up over here is windy.com. Windy.com is fantastic. Those little flashes are actually active lightning reports and you'll see it go around. You can get a whole bunch of different stuff on the map there, different things from different vendors, vendors, different views on there. If you get the premium subscription, uh, you can zoom in on your town, you can get weather alerts, you can get wind direction, all kinds of amazing weather stuff and hams love weather. Over here on this other side is PSK Reporter and this is currently showing me, let me take a look, all signal sent and received by me in the last 15 minutes and that's kind of out of date. So that's what it was when that screen was brought up because I haven't made any signal reports and it hasn't refreshed itself. Down here is Solar Ham and this is showing me the sun cycle and over here is my all-star node. So you can see my all-star node number is 54199 and if I was connected to people I would see uh, connections over there. A couple of other things you can do. Let me bring up my list of dashboards here because there's a whole lot of ham radio dashboards and I've got a bunch of them. I'll list them in the description down below for you. The FT8 off, you guys have seen that on Thursday night on my channel and on Ham Radio Dude's channel. It is a live battle for contacts using FT8 and we have a live scoreboard. So I can put the scoreboard back there and watch it increase and decrease and see whether I'm getting closer to first place or not. Not really getting closer to first place. It's been a while since I've won. APRS.menolink.org. APRS.menolink.org is a really cool site that shows you two meter propagation by using APRS data. And so you can kind of see how far signal reports are going over two meters and you might know about some tropospheric ducting or sporadic E or something like that that's going to propagate your two meter signal. Pretty cool looking dashboard. APRS.fi would be another good one. PyStar, if you've got yourself a PyStar hotspot, that's a good way to keep an eye on what's going on with PyStar. Ham Clock, I did a video on Ham Clock on this channel, an easy way to make use of some Raspberry Pis that you got laying around. I did mine with a Raspberry Pi Model B. Not a 1B, not a 2B, not a 3B, not a 4B, just a B. And it will probably also work fine on a Raspberry Pi Zero if you've got an old one of those laying around. Poda.app for your favorite Poda spots. So you can keep an eye on what's going on and see if there's any uh, entities that you need to work in the, the POTA world. If you've got one of those fancy new oscilloscopes, then you can display that on the big screen instead of looking at the little tiny oscilloscope screen. If you've got a modern radio like a ICOM 705 or an ICOM 7300, you can use a program called WF View and get a waterfall view on your screen. Or if you've got one of the really modern ones like the FTDX10 or the Elecraft KX4 or the ICOM 7610, then you can also get the display output of those on one of those screens. My setup happens to be behind me. I'm gonna move this to a more advantageous spot for me to look at while I'm in my shack, but uh, having that behind me wouldn't be all that helpful. That would also be great at your club shack if you were running a contest day or something and wanted to show up on the big screen what's going on on the radio so that you can work the radio and people can see what's going on while instead of like getting all up in your personal space. The DX cluster. So I use dxheat.com slash dxc. This has a couple of really interesting things on it. A good way to filter and also a good way to see where propagation is active. If there are any other dashboards that you know of that I didn't list, please um, tell me about them. YouTube's funny about links, so if you just tell me the name, I can probably drop a link to it. Uh, but tell me about them in the comments down below. I would love to hear about it. So putting this thing together was a whole lot of fun. I was able to uh, use a desk that I have sitting off to the side over there and get this thing all strapped up and, and put together. I put one of the arms on backwards. You'll see me flip that over. Um, 
There is also a part where the standards aren't standards, so we invented a new standard to make a better standard, and now we have more standards. Uh, where the visa mounting brackets aren't standard. So I've got a link in the description for the uh, monitors if they're still available or some cheap alternatives. I've got a link for the monitor arm that I chose. This is a four by, but this company makes adapters for two bys and four bys. This thing's on a freestanding tripod. And uh, I've got a link for the tripod down below and then a link for the current model Raspberry Pi, but Raspberry Pis are real scarce right now. So I just happened to have these old Raspberry Pis laying around, figured I would put them to use. This thing was a lot of fun to put together and I think I'm gonna enjoy doing it. And otherwise these monitors sat on the shelf and had no value. I hope you enjoy doing something like this also. Otherwise, there is a video right over here that I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome.